next segment is on entry mechanics, and we're going to break that down into some bite-sized pieces for you, uh, dealing with posture. And I'm going to reshape JT as we go if he's out of position, and we'll show you some coaching tools as we go along. Let's talk about posture. We want kind of a hip engaged posture, nice straight back position, big wingspan. So we don't want we don't want droopy arms. We want maximum radius not higher than the shoulder, not lower than the shoulder. If we're higher or lower, then we lose radius. So we want to maximize posture. His stance is shoulder width apart, uh, knees out. So he's in a pretty good athletic position here. Now we start with a wind or preliminary swing. JT is going to get a very basic wind out. And I like this preliminary swing where he winds out and catches it with his non-throwing hand, nice and big, way out here. And then he's going to wind out on the other side and keep very simple, simple lines, good posture. That's how our wind, that's how I want it set up. Now, how do we enter? We talked about this in the video. He's gonna, he, by he, right now his body weight's centered between his feet. Uh, as he starts to move out of the back and the, opens the left side, that left side system together, we should see as a coach, armpit over knee over foot. That's our balance position. That's what we're looking for on entry mechanics. So he's gonna continue to open with that side. What he's not gonna do, he's not gonna throw this left arm past the knee. He's not going to open up the left shoulder past the left hip because that means he's going to fall in. We need that system together. We need the left arm, left shoulder inside the left hip and left knee on entry. So he's going to wind that open. And that's essentially our start position in entry mechanics. Now, how do we go from here? How do we introduce movement? We're going to have him do initially a 360 pivot drill just to show he's on balance with the left. So let's see if he can get around on a 360 pivot drill. Not quite, he's got some work to do, he's out of practice. Nice and slow, not quite. He's gonna get more weight on top of the left. He's getting closer. I'd like to see him flex into this left knee a little bit more, that helps move body weight on top of the ball of the foot, helps slide that armpit over. Let's see if he can do it. Still not there. Let's see if the old man can do it. Let's step out. Let's see if the old man can do it. No practice. Here we go. That's how you do a 360 pivot turn. Some of the issues with why someone can't complete a pivot turn is one, they're not balanced. They don't have armpit over knee over foot, or they throw their uh, left arm, left shoulder open uh, to initiate the movement. And that usually causes them to fall a little bit. So they're not going to make it all the way back around. They're going to end up a little bit short. So those are the, some of the initial things. Um, some of it is also they're not opening that left side system uh, and keeping it continually grinding open, which needs to happen. So that they need to be pretty aggressive opening that and keeping the foot, left foot, left knee grinding open to finish the movement. Let's see if he can do that. Boom, that's pretty good. in any order you want. We did the 360 pivot drill. Now he's, JT's gonna do a, a little tap around or walk around drill where he's gonna hit certain points showing that he's on balance and then he's gonna get that step to the middle which should resemble our starting position for a pivot turn. So we did the 360 pivot and then we do a walk, uh, walk around drill or tap around drill and the next one we can do is we'll, we'll take away uh, the taps and I'll do a fluid movement to the middle and let's see if he can land in that Good position in the middle, boom. Yeah, so now he's got chest back, he's got hips forward, discus back. He's leaving this right shoulder alone. Uh, he didn't advance his head. This is essentially our start position for our pivot turn. So we're gonna back him up and let's do it again. Entry, smooth entry mechanics. 
And he's got a fairly soft touch down to the middle, which means he didn't fall in. And again, that should resemble, he should feel tension through here, just like we talked about with the pivot turn, entry mechanics, chest back, hips forward. Now can he put the whole thing together? And as a coach, you can decide, okay, I want an athlete to come in here and do a, a two 360 pivot drills, and then he's gonna do a walk, walk around drill or the tap drill, and then he's gonna do the entry mechanics uh, with, the, with the step to the middle and then we're gonna put the whole thing together. And you can break that down into any sort of increments you want and say, okay, this next throw you're gonna do a 360 pivot, the little walk around drill, step to the middle, and then a full throw. That's gonna be your set. And then the next person comes in and does the same thing. Depending on what issues the athlete's having, this is a great, great training tool.